Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Wilmer, and today we're going to be looking at the certificates tool in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So let's check it out. Now, we have, some, we have several options at the very top of the screen here, the first of which is the digitally signed tool. So we can apply a vis visible digital signature. So it's just a click and drag tool for us to sign the PDF. And so we can select our current ID, and then we're going to click Continue, or we can go ahead and configure a new digital ID. So if you have like a, a, a CAC or a PIV card like assigned to you by your agency, then you can follow these on-screen instructions and set up that digital ID. Personally, I don't have neither of these, so I'm not going to do that. But I do have a digital ID given to me by Carisoft, so I'm just going to go ahead with that. And this is what it's going to look like. So it's going to have my name, digitally signed by David Wilmer, date, time, etc. And then we have the option to lock the document after we sign. And then we can go ahead and sign it. And we're going to save it first. Cool. Up next is the uh, timestamp tool. So this allows you to create an additional, you can add an additional timestamp to the document. Let me drag that over. You can add additional timestamp to the document via a timestamp server. So you can create and then select the server. Selecting the server will let you have a timestamp that can be synced and verified with others who use this server. So you click New to make it, and this requires some expertise that I do not have, so I'm not going to show this off. But that's the idea behind that. We have the option to validate all the signatures. So that's all there is to that. And lastly, we have the uh, we would have the option to certify our signatures mm hmm I'll try reopening the document again just to get that not to be grayed out there we go okay so we can certify the document so th this essentially says that we vouch for this document so using our digital ID it places it then places a visible digital signature into the document to certify that we vouch for this document. So to begin the process, choose this, 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 drag out the area. Once you finish dragging out the area, you'll be taking the next step. And as you can see, it explains it. You're about to create a certified document. By certifying a document, you vouch for its contents and enable recipients to verify the document came from you. And it adds some tamper resistance to detect and prevent unwanted changes. And it requires a digital ID, which thankfully we have. So we click and drag, and just like before, Select our digital ID and sign. Yep, so that's how that works. And then you'll get this blue banner because this is just because you know my ID is did not come from a government agency. Like you know, it just came from Kerasoft. So, you know, it's not exactly the most high tech, the most secure, but it's good enough for me. So. Similarly, the last step is just to certify with an invisible signature. So it's the same thing as before, but there isn't going to be any signature in the page. Just like that. And you have some options over here. You can view the certificate details and then sign. But notice that there's no actual visible signature within the document. So. And that's all there is to it for the certificates tool. Thanks for coming, everybody. Thanks for watching. Tune in next time for when we're going to look at the protect tool. But until then, take care, everybody.